How you doing today, class? Uh, in one of the cases I decided to do, uh, I decided to do the Brian versus Kincaid case. Uh, in the case of Brian versus Kincaid, Tracy Bayer was the editor of a chief of the Southwest Stanford, a newspaper for the Southwest State University for students. Brian was refusing to release information about criminal acquaintances that were committed on the campus. Tracy claimed that the Neuro Act obligated their information that is found all on, all on all criminal activity. This act required all governmental bodies to give all public records upon the request of purpose of ensuring that all public meetings, meetings will be conducted openly and subjected to public explanation. The defendants of this case claim claim that the Farupa for, for, Act stopped them from providing the documents they needed. The courts asserted that the school did not provide the records because it was prote protected under the Farupa Act. The defendants of the cat claimed that the direct information was the only information that the Farupa Act allowed to release to release to the public. This act covered covered students that needed admission to the school. The main purpose for the act was to impose penalties on educational entitled that release information. The courts ruled that because the information was not directly protected under the Fripper Act, the act is a binding law. In conclusion, the District of Missouri ordered the release of all records related to the Missouri Southwest Missouri State on the on these grounds. They too dismissed the university argument that the Fripper Act exempted it from producing the requested information because the act was not intended to protect them and the information being sought out by the newspaper act for the school. Uh basically, uh I sorta of like this this case. It was uh kinda good to me personally. But I think it could have been it could have went a whole lot different from when it started off, but you know, different states have different laws that they have to go by, and sometimes the laws don't sometimes go along with something that the school does. But I honestly, I honestly think it could have honestly went totally different. If it was up to me, if I was the person in charge, I would have gave them everything that these people asked for, especially if they was on the the, the school grounds, because I feel like school. School grounds and the regular, uh, like, government grounds, the federal stuff should be somewhat separate, you know what I'm saying? So they won't sometimes bump heads because what the police do on campus is something totally, totally different that the people do that actually patrol the streets of that city, if that makes sense. Well, uh, thank you all.